Thanks so much for tuning in to this edition of the Quicken Guy. It is my mission to make sure you have the best user experience with your Quicken software. If you have not done so already, please click on the link below. Take four. Thanks so much for tuning in to this edition of the Quicken Guy. It is my mission to make sure you have the best user experience with your Quicken software. If you are not done so already, please click on subscribe below to uh, get news, updates, tutorials on your Quicken product. Also, if you have any questions, please comment below and I will respond as soon as possible. OK, today we are going to talk about um, the Intuit ID and Intuit ID password and also what's known as the password vault. Uh, a lot of Quicken users, they get very upset because Quicken has a lot of passwords and sometimes it can be quite confusing in getting the right password or they ask, well, how come I have to sign in with my Intuit ID? I haven't had to do that before. Why is this happening now? Uh, Quicken is very serious about security. And when you use your Quicken um when they ask for your Quicken ID, they just want to make sure that nobody else can get into your program um, without your authorization per se. Uh, so, and that's just a security mechanism they have been they have put in place. Also, uh, I was asked, well, you know, Quicken is not owned by Intuit anymore. How come is it asking for an Intuit ID and an, and an Intuit ID password? Uh, and of course, almost a year ago, uh, Quicken was bought out by HIG Capital out of Miami, Florida, if I'm not mistaken. And they're still going through the migration process and they want to make sure that everything is migrated properly. So you may still see some Intuit features um, within the program or something that says Intuit or something to that particular effect. Even when you call in to tech support and you request a password reset there, once you reset that password, it's going to take you straight to an Intuit, Intuit page. But they're just in the process of, of getting everything uh uh, migrated because they want to make sure that they don't have any um, um, any lapse in service or anything majorly goes wrong. So, you know, within the next few months, uh, you should be seeing a change. But I believe that the Intuit ID, Intuit ID password will be changed to something else as well to uh, um, uh, to make sure that your software program, it is um, it is secure from those that's trying to access your program all right let's go ahead and let's get started on this today um <clears throat> sometimes when you let's go and let's close the quicken program let's see what's gonna happen well no let's start here let's start here when you get ready to update your account from um your financial institutions if you uh download transactions from the bank or even some customers they may not download transactions from the bank or they may use a bill pay feature that's from their bank or they may use um they may subscribe to the uh, quicken bill pay feature as well if they do that anytime you're doing something electronic uh, um um electronically or trying to reach out to grab something or send something off you're going to be asked for an intuit id or you're going to be asked for an uh or you'll be asked for what's called a vault password now in some cases you may not be asked for that you may not be asked for it and we're going to start off at that particular point on today i have not set up a password vault and we're going to talk about the password vault in just a few moments and then we'll talk about the value of the password vault so what happens is this right here. This right here is a one step update icon. I'm going to um, click on this to go out to my bank to download new transactions. And of course, I already have my transactions download. But this is just for the sake of um, of, sh um, of taking you through the particular process. So when I click update. Immediately, I do not get the prompt for vault password nor do i get a prompt for my intuit id password but what happens here uh the banks that i want to download there's a check mark that's there you see those check marks is there uh or some of you your banks may come up and maybe there's not a check mark there but you need to download from those banks you need to make sure that those check marks are there then over to the right hand side you see what says password try to put your password in here so let's stick a password in there Let's go down to the next one. Now, look at this. When I put the password in, it gave me the option to do what? To save the password. 
Then right here, there's an option to save the password as well. So when you save the password, the password is going into what's called the password vault. It's going into the password vault. So uh, we're going to go ahead and, um, well, this time we're not going to do it with the password vault. But that's what that's for. When you click on save, it's going to save it in the password vault. So let's go ahead and click on update now. All right, my update has finished. Now we're going to, um, all right, my update is finished. And now we see, have no new transactions. Everything completed successfully. I'm going to close it. So this time we're going to click on the update. And we're going to put the passwords in. And we're going to click on save on both these passwords. Now we're going to click on update now. All right, now the update has finished. Let's close here. Now let's click on update again. All right. Now let's close the Quicken program. All right, let's reopen our Quicken program. Now we're going to click on our one step update icon. When I clicked on it immediately, the Intuit ID um, sign in page comes up asking me for my Intuit ID password. If you would recall, um, when I keyed in my passwords, I clicked on to save the password. And since I did not set up a, a custom vault password, by default, it set the vault password to the Intuit ID password. So I have to sign in here. Once I'm signed in, you'll notice that my Armed Forces bank account is still asking for a password. And the reason it's asking for a password was because when I tried to put it in, I put in the incorrect password and clicked on save. But we're going to deal with that in just a moment to take you to um, and take to uh, the password vault section of the program. And if you notice right here for first USA bank, first US bank, it doesn't ask for a password because it's already stored in the vault. And I got that password correct. So what happens? I'm going to go and key that password in here then I click on update now now the update is complete now let's go to the password vault section of the program remember we did not set a password vault password but we did click on save password so Quicken automatically set the Intuit ID password by default to the vault password so let's click on tools come down click on password vault and let's click on add or edit passwords remember for my armed forces bank account that was um the password box was still there and it did not eat and when i came back to put it in uh um um it did not give me the option to save it. That was because I got the password incorrect and I saved it incorrectly and I got an error that came back in. But of course, I went back and corrected it. So now it gives me the opportunity to actually go inside the password vault and put the password in for my armed forces account, which is here. So I'm going to make sure that's clicked here. Then I click on add password. Click on add and now that's added it says password stored yes on both of these accounts here now the purpose of the password vault it is what it says it is it's a vault if you have some valuables or something like that that's in the house and you want to make sure they're under lock and key you may have a safe you may have a vault and you take those valuables and you place them in the vault and you put them under a combination your vault password your password vault 
password that is your combination to get in. And so when you have to update your account, you don't have to key in each password because it's in the it's in the vault. So when you click on your one step update icon or however you may perform your update, it may ask you for uh, the vault password or it's going to ask you for the Intuit ID password and when you put that password in that's your combination to get inside that vault and you don't have to key in each one of those passwords for different financial institutions there are some customers they have five accounts 10 accounts 20 accounts 30 accounts and you know it could be kind of troublesome to key in 30 passwords at one time or even five passwords or 10 passwords and it takes up time as well so a vault is just what it says it is it stores all of the passwords and all you need is the vault password to access that when you are downloading your transaction so you may not want to use your intuit id password for the vault password and there's no problem with that but as i've said a few minutes ago it's when you put the check mark box where it said save it's set by default then to an ID password for the vault password. So let's click on manage your vault, manage vault password. And right here, it gives you an option. You can use my Intuit ID password for the vault password, or you can create uh, a custom password for the vault password. So let's click here. Let's say custom password and let's key this in. Then let's click on save. And then, of course, since my Intuit ID password was my default vault password, in order to clear that out, I've got to put that in again. I know it's kind of redundant, but Quicken is very serious about security. Very serious. Click on sign in. Once you sign in, the new vault password is there. Let's click on done. Let's close Quicken. I back up later. Let's reopen the Quicken program. Now, remember last time when we clicked on the one step update icon, it asked for the Intuit ID password for that particular vault password. So now it's not going to ask for the Intuit ID password. So I click here. And it's this time it says enter vault password. And that's the custom password I just created. Then click on update now. And then it just goes straight into the update. Isn't that neat? That is real neat. Remember, a vault, your password vault, it is what it says it is. It's a safe to keep your password. So when you get ready to update your accounts, you do not have to key in each password. All right, how do I change that vault password? If you don't remember your vault password, how do I change it? Click on tools. Come down, click on password vault, then click on reset vault. And right here, you can put in a new password. Then click OK. All right, say if you want to change back to using your Intuit ID for your vault password. Click on uh, tools, password vault, add or edit passwords. Manage vault password, then click on use my Intuit ID. And right here is ask for your existing password, and that's your password, your custom password that you created for the password vault. And then it's going to ask you to verify that Intuit ID password. I know it's a lot. Wow. All right. And there we go. Now you're using your Intuit ID password for your vault password. Anytime you come to this particular screen right here. And for some strange reason, if you reset the vault by, by mistake or uh, if you reset it on purpose, it's going to say no. Password stored is going to say no. So if you want to go and put those passwords back in there, all you do is have to click on password and confirm it.
And that's your bank password. Remember that. Click on add. Add password there. And that's it. And it says yes now. Click on done. All right. We'll finish for today. Uh, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Always remember, it is my mission to make sure you have the best user experience with your Quicken software. Also, if you have not done so, uh, please click on the subscribe button below to get news, updates, and tutorials for your Quicken product. If you have any questions or something you would like me to add to this channel, please comment below and I will answer as soon as possible. Uh, once again, this is the Quicken Guy, and until next time, have a great day.